Uh, what's up everyone? We're going to be filming a little bit of a Q&A today and uh, going over some future plans and stuff. I guess we'll get right into it. Um, my first question here is what are my future plans with bodybuilding? As of right now, um, I don't really have any indefinite plans. Um, I think I'm going to take at least, I'd like to say almost a year for my last show to do another one. So I, I might do flex again next year. Not 100% sure. Um, I'd like to do even Montreal again too. It was a pretty fun show. So the next question is, um, what training did I enjoy more, powerlifting or bodybuilding? That's a hard question to answer because of how different they are, or they different they were for me personally. I wanna say bodybuilding, just because my powerlifting training was uh, pretty all the same, like for the years that I did it. My like squat sessions also took me like three hours to do. And um, like just an average session would take me two and a half hours. So it took up a lot more time. And it was, um, like I, I felt like shit kind of all the time around my powerlifting sessions. Just because of the amount of weight and stuff that I was lifting and um, not taking my health quite as seriously as I am now. So, I, I want to say bodybuilding. For me personally, I enjoy the training more. I'm able to train more frequently, which I enjoy. I like to train every day. So, with bodybuilding, I can train five, six times a week and I can feel fine. I can recover. Um, with powerlifting, I was only training three, four days a week. And, uh, for example, only squatting like once or twice a month at the most. So, for me, I enjoy bodybuilding training more. Although I did enjoy powerlifting a lot when I when I was doing it, you know, it uh it was really good mentally. It got me through a lot of stuff, having you know the heavy weights and the hardcore training like I was doing. So bodybuilding now, but back when I was powerlifting competitively all the time, I would say I probably enjoy powerlifting just as much as I enjoy bodybuilding now. So you know, do I hold any records in powerlifting? Yes, I do. Um, I'm not 100% sure which national records I have anymore. I know that I broke national records at every competition that I did. I know that, I don't know if I still hold these, I haven't checked these in a while. Um, I broke a world record when I was 17 in powerlifting. I had a total of 1706, I think it was when I was 17 in the 275 category. I weighed in at 253 and I squatted 733, benched 365-ish and deadlifted 606, I think. So that was a world record. And my other world record was when I was 19, I squatted 733 at 218 body weight, so in the 220 class. And I, I think that world record still holds, to the best of my knowledge. How was my overall experience doing my first bodybuilding shows? My overall experience was great. Um, I really enjoyed it. The prep was kind of a bitch, but I mean, that's to be expected with a, with a bodybuilding prep. Um, my coach, really, he, he was awesome. My first show we were in Montreal for, it was a Summum Classic, and um, it was me, Dana, my coach, and Ian Horton, my, one of my clients. We went there for two or three days, and it was an overall great experience. I met lots of great people. They put on an awesome show, and you know, Dana really helped me out the entire time, obviously, but I mean, on top of just doing his job, he was also like, you know, getting me up for check-ins in the middle of the night and like making meals for me and stuff. So he, he was really keeping me on top of things. So it was overall a great experience. And then the next weekend I was in uh, Moncton for the Flex Lewis Classic. Another great experience. We were up there in Moncton. It was me, Ian Hort, my client, um, Dana, and um, Dylan Bercy, Sean Hearn, and uh, just some boys up there, you know. Um, all of us being coached by Dana, and uh, it was a great experience. Dylan was kind enough to let us all hang out at his house for the weekend, and you know, we were just hanging out, eating, and um, getting ready for the show. So, I mean, those were great experiences, and uh, I'm really happy I did it. And uh, the prep, too, I mean, 
no complaints. It's, you know, it was hard um, the last two or three weeks. I was eating, you know, 1,600 calories a day. I think it was doing two hours or so of cardio. So it, it, gets, it gets rough, but um, in the end, it was all worth it. So that's the main thing. And um, I'm excited to do another one after I take a good off season and, um, you know, get, get some of my ducks in a row. So it was, it was good. Overall, it was, it was a really good experience. Next question, uh, my favorite cheat meal. <laughs> That's a hard one. I want to go with like a burger and fries probably, or pizza, but like I don't eat pizza very often. It doesn't make me feel very good, so I'm gonna go with a burger and fries. I've been having a couple burger and fries lately. Shh. My favorite muscle group to train. My favorite muscle group to train probably is chest. Now, yeah, probably chest. Uh, I, I like doing heavy stuff, so you know, chest, like get some heavy presses going and stuff. Uh, but legs, no, nothing, nothing can beat doing legs. Either legs or chest. I don't know. What one, one or the other? I miss squatting. So hopefully this off season I'll get some six, six, seven hundred pound squats going for the boys. Would I ever consider doing another powerlifting meet? Yes, I would. Um, I have no plans. But I would do one, you know, if one popped up or maybe if I got invited to one. I don't know if I would do a whole prep and, you know, risk changing my physique again back to fat. <laughs> um, to do another powerlift and meet and like go full powerlifter mode. But yeah, I would do one. Um, I actually benched for the very first time in six months, two days ago, training chest. And I put up... 275 for 12 or so, which is not that good for me. I mean, I've done I've done 315 for like 20, but it was good. I went through a couple pec tears and, and things like that in my powerlifting career. So as long as that weren't gonna happen again, which I could never say if it was or not gonna happen. So yeah, I probably would. I probably wouldn't go like full on max out on any lifts. I would probably go for the, you know, the experience. I do miss it. I really enjoy doing powerlifting meets in the community. And um, it was always a super fun time, you know, at the meets hanging out and um, lifting with all the guys and, you know, cheering each other on. So that's something I definitely really miss. I do miss the training too, but you know, I just, I don't want to risk the injury and stuff anymore with my bodybuilding career, hopefully on the come up. So, you know, it's just not worth it to do a full prep, but I probably would do another competition, you know, just um, just for fun and see if I can break a record or something, easy. <laughs> what are my plans with my YouTube channel? My plans are to put out as much content for uh, you guys as I can and, um, you know, keep things rolling. I plan to, you know, do some traveling and uh, get lots of content, you know, going to big shows. Um, I'm hoping to get to the Olympia this year. Um, I was looking at the Arnold. I don't know if I'm gonna make it because it's coming up soon in March and I don't think that I'll probably get to that. But you know, any big pro shows with um, lots of big names going to it, I'm gonna hope to um, make the venture out there to travel to um, get to them and uh, get footage for you guys and, um, you know, get the experience for myself. And, um, you know, just uh, give out good, um, reliable information and uh, do some educational videos. But, um, you know, at the same time, uh, show you guys like good transparency in the terms of um, me saying my off season right now and talking about, you know, um, performance enhancing drugs and stuff like that. I know that everyone likes transparency in that way. So I just want to show you guys kind of the life that um, I live to do what I do. And I know it's obviously not the same for everyone who's doing it, as I mean, I'm um, full-time coaching now, and kinda, this is just kinda beginning to start my life in this. So I want to um, show you guys, and take you guys on the journey of me living in the lifestyle as a coach and a bodybuilder myself. Hey, I just want to thank everyone for tuning in to my uh, first Q&A, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.